Mr. Chairman, uh, first of all, I want to say, to say thank you to Professor Bull and uh, my boss to organize this uh, wonderful meeting, the first one on laparoscopy. And uh, I will go on my topics for uh, vascular clamping in laparoscopic liver resection. Is it better like that? Does it work? Is it working? Yeah. So first, why we clamp? Second, the lesson we learned from open surgery and who clamps, and at the end, we will go on the Henri Mondor uh, hospital experience. Uh, so why we clamp? Pr the primary endpoint is the blood loss. And then after the, second, the secondary endpoint are the transcription time, the blood loss transfusion, the modification of the serum liver, meaning the ischemia, and the morbidity and the mortality at the end. So if we look on the literature, we just have uh, several studies for uh, open liver resection. And we have this uh, meta-analysis coming from British Journal Surgery in 2008 by the University of, uh, what do you want, David? I've been trained also in Pittsburgh. It's one of my <laughs> Ah, it's better? Wow. <laughs> so for open surgery, you can find uh, this meta-analysis performed by the Edinburgh uh, University. And they did that under the Cochrane Institute. And what they figure out on open, that if you take all the literature, there is more than 1,000 uh, articles. But at the end, they just take eight of this paper. And for sure, there is no for laparoscopy. So, but what we can say that there is no difference if we clamp or not on morbidity, and there is no difference also on mortality. And even we perform a precondition is, uh, ischemia, there is no difference in morbidity. So what we learn from the open surgery, there is no benefit, but there is no, no drawback for PTC. And the, uh,